Avempes was born in Saracusta at the end of the 11th century, sometime between 1080 and 1090. He first dabbled in music and poetry and became an accomplished composer, instrumentalist and singer. His studies also included the relationship between several types of melodies and their effect on the human temperament. According to the eminent expert in Arabic studies, García Gómez, Avimpez created the Zechel, a new musical compositional form which led to the integration of Arabic and Christian music. Avimpez also broadened the horizons of the scientific knowledge of his times. He made valuable and original contributions in the field of astronomy. He also made the accurate interpretation that the two spots seen on the Sun were Mercury and Venus. He was also known to have observed the occultation of Jupiter by Mars, and he accurately predicted an eclipse of the Moon. On plants, one of his botanical texts was to influence the work of De Vegetalibus by St. Albert the Great, today patron saint of the sciences. Bearing witness to his medical knowledge and profession are his treatises and the constant allusions to examples from medicine in his works. He wrote commentaries on texts by Galeno, Hippocrates, Ibn Wafid and Al-Razi. But Avinpace is, without a doubt, best known for his philosophical works. He was the first person in the Western world to dedicate himself to the study of Aristotle and other Greek philosophers, and he reflected his insight in several treatises. His work had a considerable influence on later philosophers, such as the Languedocian Ibn Tufayl and the philosophers from Cordoba, Averroes and Maimonides. All of them, along with Avinpace, would later be quoted by St. Thomas Aquinas in his philosophical and theological works. Besides studying and commenting on the Greek classics, Avinpace also left us writings with his own thought. This manuscript is taken from one of his most famous works, The Hermit's Guide. Here he describes an ideal state, a utopia, in which everything should be governed by truth virtue and love among mankind. It is also a defense of the learned hermit who chooses to dedicate himself to knowledge, virtue and the contemplation of truth. In May 1110, the Almoravids stormed Zaragoza. The new governor, Ibn Tiflwit, appointed Avampes to the post of vizier, which he carried out for a period of three years. But his protector died in 1117, and Saracusta was sieged by the Christians. Like most of the scientists and philosophers of Saragossa, Avimpes chose to flee, or perhaps he was forced into exile. He traveled through a number of cities in the south of Al-Andalus, finally settling in Fez, where he continued to study, teach, and practice medicine. Sincere in his opinions, strong in character, and with a hectic life, Avimpes has left us an original collection of works, sound in reasoning and innovative. With these writings, he sparked the enthusiasm of his followers and incited deep hatred among the more dogmatic intellectuals, who eventually accused him of heterodoxy. His passion for the classics, his studies and practical application of the different branches of knowledge reveal him to be a precursor of Renaissance thought. Towards the end of his life, he was planning a trip to Egypt. This idea is the origin of his farewell letter and his treatise on the union of the intellect with man. The trip, however, never came to pass. In 1139, when he was just over 50 years old, he was murdered in mysterious circumstances in Fez. He was buried there and his tomb, still preserved in the 13th century, has since disappeared. <laughs>